much. Welcome to Version. The NFL is back. Here we go, week one. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he'll be out right at the 35. Good catch there by Robbie Anderson. And we all know he's got the speed to get behind any defense. What I think is underrated about his game is his toughness and his belief in self. Robbie Anderson was an undrafted free agent who's turned into a big-time player in the NFL. And now landing in Carolina, reunites him with his college coach, Matt Rule, when they were together at Temple. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Throwing left side, it's complete. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great one. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Carolina. Willie Anderson, 38 yards. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things could be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. come up first and 10 at their own 23. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And there's the first NFL catch for Henry Ruggs. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Jermaine Carter. Obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Quick throw, it's complete. Now the ball comes loose. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Fourth down. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Pulled 
angled in at the 32. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And he's got his man, it's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, 42 yards. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure to just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Second and ten. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. For the Raiders. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. 35-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Second down and three. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And there's a catch by Christian McCaffrey, and he plays a huge role in the passing attack. He's caught over 100 passes each of the last two years, so he is a defense's nightmare because how do you identify him before the snap on every play? Is he a running back? Is he a receiver? Do you guard him with a defensive back, a linebacker? Whatever you do, he tends to have the answer himself and ends up making big plays. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. So now here's Jackson on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. First and goal at the five-yard line.
They'll come out in the pistol. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers add on to their lead. So simple math here. The first half, they've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Brings up second and five. Working with second and five now. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Jermaine Carter on the We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but... When you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to them, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt them. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And he'll be out right at the 35. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And now last drive, so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kept it on the ground. <laughs> now a second down and six. McCaffrey on the counter, and he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty.
An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. 20, Raiders nothing. Now Jackson on second down. Dancing to his left. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. On third down, Jackson gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Field now. Here's Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. First good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Boy, that's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now it's Jackson. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll go as a loss of five, and that'll make it third down. Jackson. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Robbie Anderson. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. 
And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. Here's second and ten. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. He finds an opening past the 40. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And this is taken in at the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's up and good, and it makes it 27 to 7 now. Makes the score Panthers 27, Raiders 7. Daniel Carlson to kick off. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. At the 39-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And he'll wind up taking this all the way down to the Raiders 30. 31 yards there and a first down. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run. There was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Play action. It's Jackson. Nowhere to turn here. He's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. A hole to dig out of here. Second and 17. Don't say nothing. Mike 5-5. Mike 55. Mike 5-5. Got to do it. 
From the gun, it's Jackson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Marcus Joyner with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass, that's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception, that's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? No. Yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, it's Carr. And that's off the mark, incomplete. And the intended receiver that time was Josh Jacobs, and it's third and short. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The Raiders on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. A gain of five. First down, Vegas. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Las Vegas. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 28. That third down conversion, good for 23. Las Vegas, first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Those are the plays this defense needs with a deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Shotgun now for Carr. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. And 
This time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And a pretty nice tackle there. Ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They go with Jacobs. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time. And the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Car now on first down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Out of the end zone. It's second down and 10. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. The kick by Carlson is good. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. First and ten at their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Tackled at the but I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Space to maneuver at the 40. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. A gain there of 30 big ones. Now, the good thing for you, partner, is you're not as old as I am, okay? So, true. so back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, <laughs> the right side of an offensive line was almost always your power side. Your bigger, stronger physical guys. But on this play, they tossed it right and look like it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but that's not the case so much anymore, you're saying, with the bigger guys? And not, not necessarily. Find the best guys, plug them in on your O-line. Right. As a general rule now, you're a lot more balanced on your offensive line. It might still lean towards your best pass blocker on the left side. Sure. But not necessarily all the time. On second down, Jacobs. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Operating from the gun. Carr. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. 
And that is caught. It's Ruggs. Touchdown, Vegas. To number 11, Henry, Henry Ruggs. Touchdown making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Raiders get a score closer. The extra point and he's able to put it through. Makes the score Panthers 27. Raiders following the touchdown. Ready to kick it away is Carlson. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25 yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. This now a 10 point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that's caught at the 25. And all the way down to the 22 yard line. A big play there for the Panthers. 53 yards. How about the rookie in his NFL debut? Looking sharp. It's first and 10. Jackson. This is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? They'll run on first down. Jacobs, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. I thought when Josh Jacobs was coming out of the University of Alabama, he was an absolutely perfect fit for John Gruden's offense with the Raiders. And it turned out, in this case, I was absolutely right. Led the NFL rookies in rushing a year ago, 1,150 yards, in fact, the only rookie to top the 1,000-yard barrier. And this kid is a workhorse who can carry the football in any situation and catch it out of the backfield. The former Maryland Turf, Jermaine Carter Jr., had the tackle. Nice, satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. Fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. Hard to throw for it on fourth down. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Peterson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. 
Brings up Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. And it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness made up his mind and about the power to finish the play not only did he get good blocking he created his own space as well following the touchdown ready to kick it away is carlson and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully the panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line this Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run? that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And there's Christian McCaffrey with another run. Run CMC, as he's known in the Carolina area. Easily the most productive running back in the league last season. 2,392 yards from scrimmage. He's just so dangerous every time he gets the football. Whether you hand it to him, throw it to him out of the backfield, just imagine if they have the guts to let him return kicks as well. This guy is a true triple threat. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while... They slowed him down on that run. Can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. They go play action with Jackson. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kick them the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. On first down, Carr, he'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. fake here on first down and once more to Ruggs this time the catch made 
and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Raiders are back within a score. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Makes the score Panthers 34, Raiders 31. Daniel Carlson. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. The 42-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. McCaffrey. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Taken down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Second and ten now from the 27. They'll run with McCaffrey. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The Panthers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Jackson from the shotgun. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down from the five, second and four. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? The Panthers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. 
Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. They'll run for it. McCaffrey, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score, Panthers 41. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. The throw complete here to Williams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about. And that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They got the lead. And what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. To throw on third down. Carr. And he'll look downfield for Waller. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. And partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Jackson looking to throw on third. And Anderson's got it. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Oh, none of that. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 16. Off play action. He'll throw to start the drive. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. And the Raider first down. 
Throwing on first down is Carr. Allen's got it complete. That catch good for only a couple. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. From the gun, Carr. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Carr's pass. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Raiders on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This time it's third and three. Again, it's Carr. The fight is tight end. That's Waller. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Car to throw again. Going deep here for Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. To throw again, Carr. Right back for Allen. This time he finds him complete. Carr's pass. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Open man, it's Allen. Allen hit, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Panthers, and he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over, but that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely, it was a two-possession game, it is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth, they needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That good for 19 and a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. And that'll set them back five. Following the delay, here's second and nine. McCaffrey following the penalty. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Third down, here's Cannon. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped.
So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs>